Okay, so I was doing a little bit of scrolling on the internet and not in that way, relax. But there is somebody who went from S worker to stand up comedian and it's horrendous. I'm so sorry. It's really, really bad. And here's the thing I am supportive of people who want to change their career paths. I'm also supportive of people who want to change their career paths and just have it absolutely flop. Honey, I tried to do that and we're back to the same shit. But today we're going to be talking about someone named Nikki Huntsman. Now, I don't know who. Nikki Huntsman is. I am not an average uh, hub viewer, if you will. Boom, da -ba -da -dum -ch, dum -ch. Um, but maybe if I had a beard to my neck, I would understand this woman. She seems like she's crushing it on OnlyFans. She actually has an AI bot of herself that does pee. It's very, very interesting. Like she's absolutely crushing, but... <laughs> recently she's tried to do stand-up comedy and we've got to watch it oh it's really really good this is captioned i tried stand-up open mic night and i winged it uh no description top comment yikes holy shit and this is what i'm saying like i am happy that you tried it did it need to be recorded and posted no and i don't feel bad for like critiquing terrible terrible stand-up comedy just because it is posted if this was like a live stream that somebody didn't know was being recorded in the back of a comedy comedy club, then I wouldn't fucking talk about it. But this is great. I tried stand up. Pop my cherry. Fucking awesome, dude. And this is my first time here. Third time doing this ever. Okay, so this is three E's comedy club. You already know that when you're counting vowels in a comedy club name, it's going to be a solid set. So I'm pretty new to it. Hopefully it doesn't bomb too bad, but... If it does, it's okay, because luckily... So here's the problem. When you start out a comedy set, and I've never done stand-up, I would like to do stand-up because I feel like I would be decent at it. Not great. But when you start out a comedy set with, God, I hope I don't bomb, hey now, it's not going well. It doesn't bomb too bad, but if it does, it's okay, because luckily I like it rough. <laughs> I like sex like I like my comedy sets rough. Well, I like sex like I like my comedy sets stinky and consensual. <laughs> <laughs> We don't know who you are, right? You're just talking about liking. Okay. So I have been in the entertainment industry for 11 years, but I haven't been doing comedy. I've been doing porn. Let's go, dude. I feel like porn actresses are very, very actory. You ever seen the show Barry and people are like, dude, that scene that you did was so good. Like, I, I want to believe that behind the scenes, if you're doing like a group scene, you're like, when you did this, I was like, huh? <laughs> Like giving acting notes. <laughs> Any Nikki Huntsman fans in the audience? Nah, nobody knows who I am. That's okay. Ooh. Shout out to everybody in the audience. Who here's a fan of me? Oh, no one? Okay, fine. The only little response that you get is the person who's recording. Recording the fucking TikTok like, yes, I'm a fan of you. Any Nikki Huntsman fans in the audience? Nah, nobody knows who I am. That's okay. Holy fuck. Dude, that's actually one of the saddest things I've ever seen. That's literally like me at VidCon last year. Any Jake Doolittle fans in the audience? That would be so funny. How? <laughs> I'm wearing a shirt with like my name and an arrow. <laughs> my at, my YouTube stats, my social blade. Totally cool that you guys don't know who I am. That's why I actually decided to do comedy. Maybe I'll You decided to do comedy so that people can know who you are through that? You seem to actually be crushing it through sex work. Totally cool that you guys don't know who I am. That's why I actually decided to do comedy. Maybe I'll be better at telling a joke than I am at fucking. <laughs> I've never seen your work. This is the first time I've seen your comedy work, but holy Christ, I hope that you're good at fucking. Actually, you know what? You don't have to be good at sex to do porn. That's a very, very common assumption. You actually just have to be able to make it look good. You have to make it look like you're sexy. And for a girl, and Whoa! <laughs> you just have to make it fucking look good. Pulls out like a 2000s dance move. This is something you would see in like Mean Girls original. It's pretty easy. You just gotta be able to moan. <gasps> To me, this seems like a promo for what you're like, your, your OF, no? <laughs> uh, so this is my impression of somebody doing porn. Uh, any men out here in the audience? Let's act it out. You don't have to be good at, <laughs> wouldn't that be such a great class? You don't have to be good at sex. All you have to do is do this and then you fully, anyways. And make all the right faces. All you have to do is get a little lube because with women, you know, like we can fake it if we're limp. 
Men can't. They need Viagra or they need to shoot their dick up. With this is very Gabby Hanna mannerisms. Like, do you remember when Gabby Hanna would like put her phone down and then back up and like dance? That's what this looks like. That's what she's like, Lou, Lou, where is the Lou? I'm driving in the Sentara Desert over here. <laughs> when the only laughs you're getting in the audience are moans, that's not good. I also don't know what she said. Can we try to break this down? With us, we're just like lube. With us, we're just like lube. Lube, where is the lube? I'm trying to satirical. I'm trying to satirical. I don't know. It's true. I mean, having a dry pussy is the equivalent of a limp dick. If you can't get your woman wet, She's limp. You're not doing it right, bro. That's very true. I'm actually a huge Ben Shapiro fan, and I learned from him that anything that's wet is disgusting. Vaginismus hydrosis, um, whatever that disgusting thing is. Uh, if anybody's erect, if anybody's wet, to me personally, I just find it all disgusting. So please, everybody be limp, and uh, we'll all limp together like me after my surgeries. <laughs> If a girl likes you, all it takes is a few kisses or a little bit of light touching. Am I allowed to watch this? I didn't even watch this prior. Is this shit gonna be wild? And she'll be wetter than Splash Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be wetter than water. Is water wet even? Um, actually, I don't think so. <laughs> Straight up Disneyland down there. Ew. Speaking of which... Disneyland down there? Are there mice and children running around here? <laughs> Ooh. I, I should write my own set, like a counter set to this. A guy recently nicknamed me Disneyland. Gave no context. But the best part of that is, I get to play my favorite game. Fill in the blanks. <laughs> I like being called Disneyland because it's the happiest place on earth. It's magical where dreams come true. And not only that, but if I'm Disneyland, that means I get to choose whether or not you get that VIP for the line park hopper pass. And if you piss me off, it will get revoked. Dude, that's the best punchline I've ever fucking heard, dude. Dude, you you call me Disneyland, you get park hopper pass. Front and back, rear and front again, reverse. Um uh hello, this just in. Um my name's Disneyland cuz you can hop from each park of mine. My asshole. <laughs> and thus. Or not, you get that VIP for the line park hopper pass. And if you piss me off, it will get revoked. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. And if you treat me like the haunted mansion and ghost me, you know what? It's your loss. Because at that point, you don't get any of the happy endings. And just like Disneyland, that's what I'm best at. <laughs> Holy shit. Now guess what? There is a follow-up to this clip, but I do have to make a few comments, obviously. I, my job is commentary YouTube. Um, this was bad. This was really bad. If I was to, like, give suggestions, just from an outside perspective, maybe, um, cool it on the, um, acting. Like, um, like when you say park hopper pass, I think in one foul swoop, you could have faced the back wall and bent over and you go, this park hopper pass, take this, uh, mono rail, eh, 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 uh, and then if you do this, you get to Magic Kingdom. And, uh, and if I'm not satisfied, you're goofy. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be my new fucking thing. I'm gonna be a Disney comedian. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so here's the next one. Stand up improv. I'm too much for you to handle. Interesting. Stand up improv. I'm too much for you to handle. So is everything improv? Mm, let's see. I don't know. This doesn't seem like improv. It all seems written. Just not well. So I'm Holy shit. The thong sandals are coming back. I'm very, very new to this. This is my fourth time on stage. So this is literally and the time after. Surprisingly, last time I was here, one of my friends recorded it and I posted it to the internet. Looks directly into camera. Yeah, one of my friends recorded it. Shout out Bethany. Hey, TikTok. <laughs> and it is doing better than 95% of my posts, according to Instagram and Facebook statistics. For somebody who's been doing porn for 11 years, 
that just makes me think I need to reevaluate my life. Apparently, people like me better with my clothes on, and I can run my mouth better than I use it. Are we reusing jokes? Wasn't didn't we just make that joke? I can run my mouth better than I use it. Okay, and I can I can do funny, cool tricks with my fucking mouth. What do you? Oh, watch this. Uh, I learned this from Emily Osment on Hannah Montana. Off the hook. Do we like that or? <laughs> That's how I'm gonna take that. That's an so, uncomfortable stool. So since I'm better- Oh, obviously, family member. Running it than using it. Again. Let's get into some stories. Okay, let's get into some stories. This is like a canceled live with Tana and Brookie. Do I have any kinky people in the audience tonight? Yes, yes, yes. What? Yes, me so yes. much. Cool, I got some kinky people. Anybody here sister. likes public stuff? Oh my God, I, can, I can't get enough of it. On the train, on the Amtrak. Everybody's so silent. I feel like I have a shy audience. People are like, oh, she's talking about sex. Oh. We're all virgins here. We can't talk about that. Oh, you can't talk about that. This is like Roseanne Barr's special. Just shy, scared, like a deer caught in the headlights. <laughs> Yes. Well, maybe some people just aren't comfortable with it. Now, I do think that it's totally okay to normalize things, but I also don't think that um, we should expect everybody to want to talk about their sex lives. You know, me personally, I, uh, I'm i really out and open with it. I always talk about it constantly. I do this, I do that. I mean, you can't even get enough of it. And that's all behind a paywall, actually. Members only. My memberships, my YouTube memberships, where I have hours and hours of content. It's actually quite interesting because I you'll learn all of my dirty deets. Also, no refunds. No refunds, but that is how I'm, you know, surviving and thriving. And hopefully, maybe I can uh, have a dermatologist appointment. <laughs> They're fucking hilarious, just silent right now. So, back when I lived in LA, me being the crazy person that I am, you're so kooky and wild, even offset. Sorry, I thought she was just gonna say, and uh, I'm a crazy person and also wild, even. Um, I was, I'm just a crazy person and wild, even. Even in my personal life. I remember back in the day going to Dave and Buster's with one of my friends groups. Are you looking straight at the friend group who you did this with? So it was my friend Liam's birthday and at the time he was my coworker when we were also servers and his whole family was there, friends, everything. We sneak off, we go to a photo booth. Okay, so this seems like a story that maybe shouldn't be told on stage. Um, from what I'm looking at, she's telling this story for the first time to somebody in the audience. Like, you're looking at your besties like, can you believe the tea that I'm about to fucking say right now? Can you understand what's going on? <laughs> like, I don't... Interesting. And we start getting hot and heavy. Uh, both? <laughs> So I'm down on my knees, sucking his dick. Didn't need the act out. I, you know, this could all be done in a chair. Maybe it would be funnier without the physical comedy aspect. Like, uh, do you remember the guy who threw watermelons? Uh, MacGyver, whatever the fuck his name was. We can put a clip in right now. Comedian who throws watermelons. This is who it's kind of giving right now. Also, I love the shirt. Spitters are quitters. Anyone who spits is a fucking quitter. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the curtain flings open. There's a manager and four security guards <laughs> caught right there. Dick in my mouth, big, wide deer eyes. Ooh, two deer eye comments. Also, Dave and Buster's has those like real expensive photo booths where you can see what's going on on the inside, on the outside, but you don't know that you can see what's going on in the inside, on the outside until you're seeing somebody on the inside, you know? And you're like, oh, this is weird. This is a little like rear window, my favorite film. <laughs> Left him with his dick hanging out to handle it. Luckily, he was able to talk his way out of it. He kind of like shrugged, laughed it off, whatever. I love just a waitress fully walking by in front of the stage. He was able to talk his way out I don't know of much it. about etiquette, but I don't he think this is how like you shrugged. do it. What is that, a bowl of grapes? Laughed it off, whatever. Like, I ran away looking back. Ran back to his sisters and everybody fucking threw my hoodie over my head. <laughs> But I'm not are they are they closing a check right now? Are they closing a tab? Hey, yeah, you can just uh, if you just sign here. Um, yeah, I just you don't you don't have to leave a tip. It's okay. No, seriously, it's okay. It's fine. Twenty percent is nice, but please. And they're just having <laughs> crazy person. I just yeah, loved him. I dropped the dick and I ran. Is uh. <laughs> I dropped the dick in Iran. Sounds like a follow-up to like a Borat movie. Like I dropped the dick and then just a location. The dick out in public. 
<laughs> nice. They say flight or fight or flight is a real thing, and you don't really think about it until you're in that moment, and you either have to fight or run. Or fly. Or what about the fly option? I mean, I would take the fly option any day. Um, what's her name? Nikki. Nikki Huntsman. I, I'm telling you right now. I would, if my wee wee, my wiener, I guess, was out. Um, I think I would uh grow my wings like the dude from X Men. Ran. <laughs> ran so fast. <laughs> Oh. So I'm sorry. What was this? Were you just giving signs to your friend in the audience? <laughs> Whoa! What? Like a silent scream. <laughs> so I have been single for about two years now. Not just because of that, but also because I tend to be the masculine one in the relationship. <laughs> I like to be the one who wears the strap on. <laughs> 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 I tend to be the one that takes control, and some men like it, some men don't. Recently, I was very fortunate, and I got to go out with a dude who actually has a sense of humor. And Nightmare double date. <laughs> I mean, this guy actually had a sense of humor. I mean, we were very similar in comedy. I picture like going on a fucking date with uh, Jack and Jill, both of them from the hit Adam Sandler film. When we were out... He wanted to show me how fast he could chug a beer. Nice. I was nice. like, damn, you can swallow. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, yeah, it's because I got no gag reflex. So he's a basketball player. Okay, so we're hopping back and forth. I mean, what kind of basketball player are we talking? Is he a professional basketball player? He's got no gag reflex? I need to know more about this fella. I let him know, I was like, damn, you must be the best one on the team. <laughs> You must be their favorite since you have no gag reflex. That's funny. <laughs> Just basketball and players. luckily he could take that joke and he rolled with it and actually wanted to see me again. Yeah, he wanted to see me again because uh, he sucked the cock of every other basketball team member. It was true. I clocked him on it. That's surprising. Most guys can't take it when I dish it. But... Anyways, I feel like... Oh, anyways, uh, I feel like that was my time. Anyways, I'm gonna put the mic back. Anyways. This is very awkward. Everybody does not know how to handle how inappropriate I am. Talking about pegging guys, strapping them on. Man, you guys don't even know how crazy I am with 21 guy gang bangs. <laughs> ow, ow! The full basketball team. Ooh. Oh. I think I'm a little bit too much for you. And since oh. I'm too much, I might as well just go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really hope that only her and her friends were at this fucking event. Holy shit. Nikki Huntsman, Nikki Huntsman, everyone. Yes. There it is. Nikki did it. Holy shit, man. If you could invite me to a show, Nikki, I will do a stand up set with you. I want my first stand up set to be with you, Nikki Huntsman. Oh, I'm also trying to find. So, this is her, her AI thing that she is promoting that she can just make passive income almost like a Quebble Cop YouTube video. That's fucking sick, dude. Nikki AI. Whoa, man. We have to blur that, but holy shit. And then they have like 50% off. Tell her and us what you think, even though it's not her. I mean, can you ask her um, if that set was written or if it was fully improv? Because it was fully improv. That's much better. That's much better. I'll let you off a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, so this is Nikki Huntsman uh, sample audio. Oh, I, I have had so many hot dates, but one that really stands out was with a guy named Mark. We met at a friend's party and there was just an instant connection. We exchanged numbers and he asked me out for dinner and a movie. Nikki, keep at it. I love it. You know, maybe it wasn't the best, but that's okay. You live and you will learn. Who am I to judge? Not judging. Anyways, thank you to all my members for supporting me. If you want to become a member, then click the link in the description below. Also check out my clothing brand and fund for people with chronic illness. Never stop. 10% of all profits from the Never Stop clothing brand go into the fund. Also apply if you need financial help. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Later. Bye.